Rishi, do you want to tell us about the software? Yeah, can we pull, uh, pull back the slides, please? I'd love to keep watching this video. It's actually pretty funny. All right. So let me talk a little bit about the software. So the Google TV has three components to the stack. The first is Android. We are built on Android 2.1, and we'll be upgrading to later versions of Android over time, because we have the ability to do over-the-air updates. Second, the browser. We are Google Chrome. We needed a full web-compatible browser to be able to browse everything that's out there. We chose the fastest. And finally, if you want to be fully compatible with all the web video content out there, you need to have Flash. So we also have a full Flash 10.1 plugin as part of Google Chrome. And that's the software. But one thing we haven't talked too much about yet is Android. One of the benefits of being built on Android and Chrome is that not only can we deliver great web applications to users, we can also deliver Android apps. Wouldn't it be cool if I could take my favorite mobile app and actually just have it work on my TV? Soon, you can. Let's actually take a look. Can we bring back the demo? All right, <coughs> left to the green page we just wrote before. Um, let's go ahead and pull down the uh, the quick search box. Now the great thing about the quick search box is not only can I navigate to my favorite websites or my favorite channels, I can also navigate to my favorite apps. So let's go ahead and pop in Pandora, or a market actually in this case. And now you're going to see the mobile version of the Android market working on Google TV. works out of the box. In fact, if your application doesn't require phone-specific hardware, it should work on Google TV. Now, let's go ahead and check out actually one of the apps. In this case, let's check out Pandora. We can do a search within the Android market um, to uh, take a look. Looks like actually it's already installed, so let's go ahead and open it. And again, Pandora's done nothing beyond just get the mobile application here. And you're going to see the mobile app running on Google TV. Yes, if we have audio. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, so the great thing here is that not only can we run, again, all these web applications, we can also run all those different mobile applications. And what's incredible here is that now a TV can be, again, much more than a TV. But another cool feature that I wanted to also highlight was actually taking the same principle that Vic already mentioned earlier today about taking the mobile version of the Android market and be able to push applications directly to your phone. To actually do this demo, I'd like to bring up uh, Brittany Bonet, a uh, member of the Google TV team, to help. <laughs> so, like uh, Vic showed you earlier today, you can take the mobile version of the Android market and push it to your different phones, but you can also push it to other Android devices. In this case, you'll see on the top right, we actually have Google TV. Actually, we should see which, uh, which box we're on. Assuming we're on the second box now, mm -hmm. so we might have to switch that Brittany, to the other. Try the other TV. Okay. Just scroll over it. Let's just make sure it's on the uh, second one. All right, let's, let's try this. Uh, we have different TVs connected, um, so we'll do this in real time. But let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the Twitter app. All right, so. Uh, so here actually, actually, why don't we go back, I think it's the other TV, if you go to the top right. Okay. So the sec second one. This is where it says other TV. Yeah. That's my code name for box two. <laughs> <laughs> Not much way. All right, so why don't we uh, go ahead and uh, try to download that. While we're doing that, Vince is actually showing the uh, list of applications installed. So go ahead and click it and see. Seconds. We're going to have to check if this is the right box or not. It might not be on there. Oh, there it is. All right. Good. Now we can open up the, the app directly from Google TV, and again, it will just work. Right? Again, so all of a sudden now we can create enhanced experiences around Android applications as well. And what's compelling here is not only can users now have a consistent application across multiple devices, but you as a developer 
can now have additional devices to take your application. And now we can also enable you to create entirely new experiences directly on Google TV, something optimized specifically for the living room. And we're giving you two application frameworks, web apps and Android apps. Now, we have some work to do. So the Android market and the Google TV specific SDK will be coming shortly after the product availability. But to give you a sense of where the platform is going, we want to give you a few developer demos. And to do that, I'd like to introduce Ambrish Pengen, the developer VM for Google TV. 